Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time, we're going to play something that uh, I actually did play all the way through back when I was a wee lad, and that is Star Lancer. Now, I don't actually have the game to hand anymore, because uh, that must have disappeared um, when I moved. Uh, I think when I originally moved to the city that I'm currently living in, not this address, but I actually lost a hell of a lot of Dreamcast games. I'm guessing somewhere um, the, <laughs> there's a whole box of Dreamcast and PlayStation 1 games that, uh, well, never made it to their destination. So, we have uh, acquired a version to play. And I, of course, am talking about Star Lancer, which was a uh, space arcade combat sim. Uh, for the Dreamcast. Also came out on the PC, I believe, but it was the Dreamcast version that I actually originally played. And I remember it was really, really difficult. Now, I didn't realise at the time that it was one of Chris Roberts' games. Uh, he, of course, was very famous for the... Um, uh, what did he make? Like the Wing Commander and Privateer and all that kind of stuff. Uh, which is a series that, because I never had like a PC when I was, well, I did have a PC when I was a kid, but I didn't have, I didn't have access to a lot of PC games, I think would be the best way of uh, saying it, because I didn't have the internet when I originally had my original PC. Um, when I was living with my dad, uh, we actually had another PC and the internet uh, over at my mum's house. Because, you know, back in the early, well, the late 90s, not everyone had the internet. Shocking. I know. But that was the way it was. So I only had a selection of games that I actually came across. Um, but when I got my Dreamcast, uh, randomly, I spied a space combat sim. And as someone who was a huge, massive fan of G-Police, uh, Colony Wars, uh, the three Colony Wars games, and space combat games in general. Uh, I was quite excited to give this one a go. So, um, I did complete, I'm pretty sure I completed it as a kid. I must have, I must have. Um, it was good, but it was very, very difficult. So, let's see if it still holds up. So, we've got some blurb. Star Lancer is a space combat simulator that was released in 2000 for Windows and two, right, 2001 for Dreamcast. The game was created by Erin and Chris Roberts, the same developers behind the, yeah, here we go, the Wing Commander and Privateer series. The game is set in the year 2160 when a war breaks out between the Alliance and the Coalition, two rival factions that have colonized the solar system. The player takes the role of a rookie pilot in the 45th Volunteer Squadron, an elite unit of the Alliance that flight that flights. Shouldn't it be fight? That's weird. Yeah. That flights against the coalition forces. The game features 24 missions that can be played single player or multiplayer. I didn't know that. Interesting. With 12 different fighter ships and various weapons to choose from. The game also has a dynamic storyline that changes depending on the player's actions and performance. Yeah, so very much like the uh, original Colony Wars uh, in that respect. Which is kind of an interesting thing. I, yeah, I miss that sort of stuff. You don't really get that anymore. So the game is a spiritual successor to Wing Commander Prophecy. Which was also developed by Digital Anvil. The game uses the same engine and some of the same assets as Prophecy, but with improved graphics and gameplay. The game is considered to be one of the best space combat simulators on the Dreamcast. Well, uh, not exactly um, not exactly a lot of those to choose from, so... And received positive reviews from critics and fans alike. The game was praised for its realistic physics, immersive atmosphere and challenging missions. Yeah, I... I I think the missions were a little bit too challenging myself. Uh, it, it's not an easy game. Um, the game story is continued in Freelancer. Oh! How interesting. Another game by Chris Roberts that was released in 2003. Freelancer is set in a different galaxy and has different gameplay style but it features some references and connections to Star Lancer. That's odd, then. 
The game has a hidden cheat code that allows the player to access a secret mission called The Gauntlet. In this mission, the player has to face waves of enemy ships with limited weapons and shields. To activate the cheat code, the player has to enter G A B B A G. Okay, lots basically as their pilot name. All right, well maybe we'll look at that, but probably not today. If we ever do like a LP of this game, which we will, uh, we'll definitely be looking at that. So I'm curious to see now: does this game hold up? Um, let's find out. Okay, so here we have it, Star Lancer. Don't drink and fly, kids. Might be worth putting my headphones on. Might be a good idea. Huzzah, we have audio. Yeah, so uh, I remember really enjoying this one. And I played it to absolute death. But the real question, does it still hold up? I always um, remember reading somewhere as well that this game was supposed to be a trilogy. But maybe I just imagined that. Russians. Objectives have been accomplished. Secondary objectives are now being targeted on all fronts. Admiral Kulov, your strategy is working perfectly. We caught the Alliance forces by complete surprise. What's left is in full retreat. Sir, Vice Admiral Petrov reports the French and Italian fleets have been destroyed. He's requesting additional ships to house the prisoners. Execute them all. We have no time for prisoners. Damn, son. Despite putting up fierce resistance, Base Kennedy finally succumbed to insurmountable odds. There have been no reports of survivors. Alliance leaders admitted today that any hope for a peaceful end to the conflict has died with the fall of Europa. We have just received an urgent request from Alliance High Command. All civilians with any flight experience are requested to report to their nearest recruitment center for skills evaluation. The Alliance needs you.
45th Volunteers. I do not care who you were. As of now, you're part of the Navy. My family. We have a long and proud history. One which we must now fight to preserve. But more than that, we are our people's only hope. Commander Enriquez? I am your squadron leader. Debriefing at 0600 hours. Welcome aboard the Reliant. Lieutenant Commander. Ma'am? Assign these recruits quarters so they can stow their gear. That is all. Dismissed. Yes, ma'am. Recruits? Um, what an introduction that was. That was sick. No wonder I loved this as a kid. All right, let's go. This definitely gets you pretty pumped and hyped up. I'll tell you that much. Right, so we've got what sort of options have we got here? Uh, screen is normal or widescreen. I guess it doesn't really matter with this emulator, the way it's got set up anyway. Um... I guess I can move my camera now a little bit. Something like that. Okay, right. Let's just go new game, I guess. Difficulty, medium, easy. Uh, we'll go for medium. Uh, cool sign will be... Obviously. Tie. Tan. Right. So I'm guessing okay. we're going to have some kind of training. No more sim pods, no more target drones. From now on, your call sign is Alpha Wing. I just hope you rookies are ready. You will be taking part in Operation Shield. Our orders are to secure the area and escort any Alliance ships to Neptune's moon, Triton. Long-range scanners have picked up a convoy that we believe to be the remnants of the British fleet. How they got this far without fighter cover is a miracle. Your job is to make sure they arrive at Neptune in one piece. Intelligence reports suggest the convoy consists of one heavy cargo carrier and a number of light transports. Upon launch, your first objective will be to rendezvous with the convoy. Once you have made contact, take up escort positions and provide fighter cover until you reach Fort Sherman where you will be relieved. If you encounter the enemy, torpedo bombers are your priority target. Fighters are secondary. Everyone clear? Time to lock and load, people. Okay, so I guess we're not <laughs> we're not having any uh, training on what we're doing. So we've got a Predator, which is a light craft. We've got a, a Magenta, a Grendel, and a Crusader. Uh, let's have something with like some some weapons here. Uh, I mean, they all look pretty cool. I mean, that's a German ship by the look of things. It's Japanese. Okay. Don't really recognize the other ones. Is that English? Kind of. Oh, Crusader sounds English. Um, so we've got some shields. You know what? Let's go with the Crusader because that's got extra shields apparently. But that's got more guns. Screw it, Crusader. Uh, ah, the rockets. Yes, I remember, because we can actually outfit and equip our own weapons and have whatever we want, which is kind of unique, really. Well, I don't know, actually. Colony Wars uh, Vengeance, you could kind of equip whatever you wanted. Let's go for... Uh, static targets. Bandit. Shield armor. So we don't really know here. I guess Havoc is kind of like a homing missile. In which case, we're going to want as many ha Havocs as we can get our hands on. I like this. This is quite cool. Right, we want air-to-air -air homing missiles. Perfect. Or should I say space-to-space -space homing missiles? God, I remember all these cinematics. It really did add like a nice bit of spice. Ooh, hello. Uh, and we actually get manually launched. Right you, so take good care of this crate, and you and 
I will get along just fine. Man, I just hope we see some action. Okay, 45th. No more Sims. This is for real now. Let's move out. We've got a lot to prove. We do? Right. We're ready to jump out. So the triggers look like our speed. Which is fine. We can handle that. Damn it. Alright. Is there any particular... Oh, look at all this. We've got a lot of menus and things here, but then... Chris Robert game. <laughs> I like how obviously evil the enemies are. Right. Come on. That means nothing to me. I got him. Come on. I can still just about see him. Or I could. I do you need to turn my headset down, mate? Wherever my headset volume control is. Oh, I'm using the other one, aren't I? There we go. That's deafening. Okay, so if I was a bad mech, I guess it's going to be an optional objective to take that guy out. Well, we've got auto locking lasers, which I like. You know, it still controls and feels very good. Yeah, so. I guess he's going to be some kind of optional target that we could have got. Right, he's done. On to the next. <laughs> Great shot, kid. You got him. Oh, we're... Wow, we just got smoked. Absolutely smoked. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> we will remember. It is with great sadness and pride that we say farewell to our fellow comrade. God damn it. Attention. I didn't even get my name right. My name's not Conrad. Hero of the fleet. You better believe I saw that cutscene a lot. I remember it now. Wow. Just that's it. Oh man. All right, let's go start again. Okay. Skip through all of this. Uh, what's got the best, like, shields and armor, then? Probably this puppy here. Let's go for you. All right, same deal as before. We want... Havocs, I guess. I don't really think we're going to need Screamer Pods, because they're for more larger targets, if memory serves. There we go. Yeah, because this bad boy is just going to be loaded to the teeth with weapons, and that's what we want. We don't want to be messing around with little puppy ships. We want the big stuff. Yeah, cool story, bro. Okay. Ooh, much better. So the afterburners is to double tap. Got ya. I think the trouble is, um, there's so many controls with this game. And I think playing it with save states is going to have uh, a much better result. I'm talking of which, actually. Just so we don't have to risk... Restarting over and over again. Let's drop a safe state. Now, where's that snaky little shit that teleports in? Let's see if we can't take him out this time. Oh, oh, there's our 
position, I guess, that we're supposed to go. Whoop. <laughs> oh, it's so deliciously cheesy. Is that the guy? Where is he? Yeah, I don't think we're going to have much chance against this guy. Maybe there's some... Special shielding or special scanners or something that we can get. But yeah, we'll we'll miss him out for this time. Right, okay, let's get going. We've got plenty of missiles. And we've got plenty of weapons this time round too. Alright, baby. Come on. Doesn't look like these weapons track though. Which is problematic. Very problematic. That's okay. What's our missile button? Okay, so our missile button is B. That's good to know. He's gone. Looks like those missiles just seem to... Paralyze the enemy, interestingly enough. Right, who's this all the way over here? Now, worth noting that our afterburner fuel um, isn't unlimited. Once it runs out, it runs out. I do remember that. All right, we can track this guy from over 100k away. Missile away. Come on, baby, come on. Make the connection. I don't know what happened to our missile. Let's give him another one. Yeah, missiles are just kind of exploding. Alright. Well, I mean... I'm guessing... Oh, God, we're getting hammered. Guessing whatever we did there... Helped. Okay. So, leading these guys is... Definitely important. But not easy. Come on. Yeah, this is going to take a long time to get back to me. Come on, you slippery little git. So this is the first mission, and you can see already the sort of challenge that we're going to be up against. It's uh, not an easy game, but I am enjoying it. Oh, oh dear. Somehow avoided those missiles. Not exactly sure how. Just using the afterburner. He's done. Just this guy on my ass now. Aircraft design is pretty good. Or spacecraft, I guess. Not sure what I think about this uh, spaceship. I think I prefer to have the tracking weapons. Yeah, so these weapons just paralyze them. That's kind of interesting. I guess it's good to know. Also, if he's like 21 kilometers away, that's a big ship. So I'm guessing it might not mean that. All the way, man. All the way. Yep, I remember him saying that. Right, let's see if we can't light this guy's ass up. The shields do seem fairly durable. And it's very twitchy on the old Dreamcast stick here. Come on. Man. Man. You really take a beating from these lasers. Come on, sweet cheeks. Oh, yeah, he didn't like that. Not like that at all. Ha 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 ha, vaporized him. Not bad. Yeah, nice going, 45th. Yeah, you see that? I gave it a 360 roll and put four screamers in his tailpipe. What? 
Torpedo bombers. Okay, Let's go. Oh, I remember there's a kill board that keeps track of oh, everything. Alright, well, let's get to those. Right, and we're burning all of our afterburner fuel. Yep, I'm on it. I'm on it. Although, I think the torpedoes have... Ah, there they are. I do remember these torpedoes. And I remember them being a nightmare to take out. Memory serves me correctly. Because they're shielded and they're fast. Right, there's one gone. Who's next? Still got this guy over in the distance. Let's just try and burn up towards him. Just hope my uh, AI companions can handle the torpedoes. Pretty sure I know the answer to that. Although he's jumped out, which is less than ideal. That's not great. Everything's fine, guys. Honest. Everything's fine. Let's see if we can't use our last missile to. Take the missile out. Nope, she's dusted. We are not doing our best work here. Not sure if there's any more torpedoes left. Right, so... Nope, so it looks like we've just got sabers left. Okay. The torpedoes are certainly more overpowered than in something like Colony Wars, for instance. But they have softened our fleet up. Oh, God. Mm, all right. We do? That's not great. That's not good at all. Come on, baby. Let's do this for the core. Oof. <laughs> I see him heckling me about something. Maybe it's my fabulous kill record. If you get one more, then by old Earth rules, we're an ace in our first mission. Come on, just a little bit more. I didn't realise you could lose your wingmen. Definitely going to take some getting used to. But I think I could probably get used to the uh, I could probably get used to the controls. They're definitely twitchy. I think he was gonna lock me up then. Right, let's do this. Managing your speed is gonna be the challenge. Come on. Also, the missions are decently long as well. Like most Colony Wars missions, which are a few seconds. Whew. How do we do, boys? So much for the fighter cover, 45th. Well... Hey, we gave it our best shot. Now let's move out. Sounds like we didn't do very well at all. Did we not save anybody? This is Sherman Patrol, requesting identification. Sending countersign now. Confirmed, 45th. What happened out there? We ran into some trouble. Yeah, and from what I heard, you didn't take care of it. Hey, we gave it our best shot. Guess your best wasn't good enough. Oof. Hold your position, 45th. The Reliant is currently en route. That's pretty sad news. Okay, there's the Reliant. Initiate landing procedure. 
Well, I guess we're not having uh, any promotions today. Right, so, yeah, see, so we can roll by holding down um, Y, which is interesting. That's a better game mode. We're trying to learn the controls, dude. Would have been useful to know these things. So we can use four guns or we can split them up. So I guess it just auto docks you after a while. Yeah. <laughs> um well, <laughs> I think we kind of screwed up there pretty badly, apparently. I think next time we just need to concentrate on the torpedoes. I don't remember if the torpedoes keep coming or if you can actually destroy them. Uh, oh, the, just, uh, the torpedo launcher anyway. Um, I'm not sure, but this is an interesting game. And I do believe at some point we're going to take a bigger, longer look at it. But for now, I think we're going to call that that. Um, before I get too much deeper into this one, I'm definitely going to have to get a list of the controls because there's so many controls mapped to this. This ain't your dad's colony walls, that's for sure. Um, yeah. I think we'll investigate this one, but I like it. I like the atmosphere. I like the setup. Uh, it's the story as old as time, you know, space Americans taking on space Russians. Eh, with a few other nations, you know, sprouted out within. Um, interesting with the, yeah, the, the story that can change. I like that. But if I'm going to play this, I'm going to want to try and do everything. And that's going to require a lot of playthroughs, I think. So we'll be back to this one, I'm sure. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.